Wake up, Detroit. I'm Joanne Watson, and this is your wake up call. When a brown girl child is born, the earth shifts. The sun is at half mask. The moon waits for her first cry. The ancestors set the table. The flowers turn red as blood. This is your land, continent daughter. With tree trunk legs and branches for arms, this is your soil. Black and fertile as your eyes facing an apartheid Jim Crow current past memory. Some of us begin the removal of shackles at birth. We grow into the armor of struggle quickly. We brew courage in our tea, blend bravery into our Sunday dinners. Joanne Watson, you understand nation building is not a part-time job. This dedicated life is sometimes lonely, a vulnerable choice, but it is the only way you know how to operate. You are wired for the movement in your black women bones, even when tired, still fighting, still organizing, still singing morning spirituals. You are born to lead, even in your own family, the eldest of 10 children born to Jefferson and Lestine. You made Damon, Nefertari, Stephen, Maya. Her children always knew she was larger than life. When you are a woman in the movement, you take the children with you on the journey. You bring the babies with you to your college classes. When you travel to Ghana for the first time, it will be with your daughters in tow. When you are a fearless, nationalist thinking mama, mothering never stops with your own babies. 30 God children and mentees across the globe. The daughter of a ministering mother is already ordained for good trouble. A seer, a prophetic young student preparing for her lifelong role as servant to her own community. When your purse was snatched in a Farmer Jack parking lot many years ago with your kids tickets to run DMC in the purse, you made sure they still got to that concert and even hosted Melly Mel and the Furious Five in your living room, cause queens make it look easy. When you were a single mom, people would tell you what you can't do. Instead, you moved to New York City with all four of your C's to do your necessary work with the YWCA, cause queens make it look easy. Ghana, Togo, South Africa, where is your heart, Mama Watson? Nurturing spirit, bacon melt in your mouth, homemade biscuits. How many hours do you sleep, Warrior Watson, with endless work ethic and blue collar blood racing through your veins? How do we say thank you for your work, your time, your heart? We know you will never really retire. There is a fire on the path to freedom. There is smoke, there is sacrifice. There are stories of justice, of women, of Tubman, Sojourner, of Angela, Asada, Coretta, and Merle, and Betty, and Queen Mother Moore. Some of us know we are ancient, that our marrow is laced with legacy, that we are here to bring light to our daughters. Sometimes it just takes one woman, a mother, a grandmother, a spitfire, a griot, a sister, the only woman to lead the NAACP's largest chapter. She, daughter of the movement, of Rosa, of Irma, she was a birth that gave birth to possibility for other young activists like me, a true D woman, frontline Fatima, Nigerian blood, councilwoman, leader, truth teller, Joanne Watson, social worker, president of the anti-clan network, sister inspiration, dedicated to the protection of girls and the voices of women wrapped in West African beauty, regal and resilient. Wake up, Detroit. Wake up, South Africa. Wake up, Cuba. Wake up, small business owners. Wake up, White House. Wake up, reparations. Wake up, teachers. Wake up women, wake up schools. Sleeping is not an option when the Honorable Joanne Watson is in the room. Wake up Detroit, I'm Joanne Watson and this is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice, hallelujah, and we're glad in it. I don't know about you, I can't let one day go by without praising his name. We praise God on this day. We got two strong black men in the house, y'all. Got Paul Taylor, the legendary Paul Taylor. Let's see now, Inner City Sub Center, Paul Taylor. Me, man, alumni, Paul Taylor. Let's see, African Liberation Day, Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor. Keep the vote, oh, no takeover. Keep the vote, no takeover, <laughs> Paul Taylor. And keep the vote, no takeover is also what brings a less little to the house. Less little to the morning, house. Good morning, good morning. Yes, yes, yes. Less, today less. is the anniversary of the day we, uh, we boarded the bus. That's right and went to Cincinnati to the federal court mm -hmm. on behalf of a federal lawsuit that we paid for, come on, that we fought for to get our vote back for the Detroit Public School Board. And I want to thank Les Little for never letting that date go by. 
Well, I think it's so significant this day because I call it the shot not heard around the world. Come on now. I expected uh, Cincinnati, Ohio to not forget that day. That That's right. There would have been people all over Cincinnati. But I don't think they really understood how important May 3rd was when in the liberation of American freedom. But because you'll never forget that. I will never let people forget this. No. Because we, about we it all failed. The time. Yeah. And we I failed to answer the, the, the children. This was about our children, the control of our schools. The, the control of our destiny. Say it. And, we and, and also to honoring our ancestors. That's right. Somebody fought for us to have the right to vote. That's Somebody right. resisted terrorism during their era so that we could vote. Somebody mm -hmm. paid for us to have the right to vote. And, and we had an, a duty to go to Cincinnati. Just so some folks today don't even remember no, that no. we went to Cincinnati. No. And then we filed life. that suit. Mm -hmm. And you know the control of our tax dollars was That's primarily right. what was involved That's right. in that. They were taking our money that hey. we paid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to use it the way they see fit, opposed mm -hmm. to using it the way we see That's fit. That's right. And we yeah. must pay homage to Queen Mother Helen. Oh, Lord, yeah. Queen Mother keep the vote, no takeover. Uh, keep the vote, no takeover. And uh, she always calls uh, Paul Taylor and myself the co-founders right. of Keep the Vote, No mm -hmm. Takeover. It's interesting. As we talk on this station, it was on this station. That's right. That I called the first meeting. I have to admit, it's I different. called the meeting before I asked Paul Taylor for permission. To have folks meet at the inner city sub Because you knew, you knew the doors were always open <laughs> uh -huh. to my sister, so that wasn't so an issue. We, we called, the, I called the meeting on the air, on these airwaves, mm -hmm. WACR, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a huge meeting. Uh, Helen Moy merged as a star of that effort. She was at that point one of sub, one of, uh, chair of one of the subcommittees, and that is the one shining uh, subcommittee that is remaining out of that initial organization meeting. So I'm so grateful that Paul Taylor is here. And, and we talked about the bus that took us to Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. We have a bus taking us around some black businesses on this Saturday. We mm -hmm. want to fill up that bus. Well, we certainly do. You, you know, we, and we in this case wear many hats. It's the Kiba Line Village. It's the Sub Center in the city. It's African Liberation Day Committee. It's the Million Man Alumni. Oh, come on now. Uh, we even got some support from NAACP my, my, my. and so forth to come together in unity because we really got to come to grips with something that uh, some of us I think just don't even understand the significance of it and that is that we must spend our money in our businesses hey, in our own community you better say it. in our own town in our own city say that. And until we learn to recirculate our dollars so that they can benefit all of us. That's right. And we, our destiny seems to stay in the shape that we're in. Who's city? Our city. It's our city. Come right. on now. And so, again, uh, we, those organizations that have come together, have declared that on a regular basis, not just a one-time basis. That's right. But on a regular basis, we're going to ask our community to get on the bus with us. Get on the bus. We did it in October. We did it in October. We did it in December. And we're doing and it again. Let's do it again. Doing it again. Let's do it Coming again. up right here in May. <laughs> Coming up this Saturday, May 5th. And it's not too late. We got a few seats left I to get I on the bus. Everybody who's listening, watching us right now on this black owned station who has not been on this black bus tour, uh, you need to sign up. Uh, sign up, show up this Saturday. Bus leaves at 10 a.m. from our people on Village. Uh, that's 7701 Harper at Van Dyke. Right, Van Dyke. right near I 94. It's the Van Dyke exit. Uh, you need to be on the bus. We, we do a whole lot of talking about they ain't doing nothing. Nobody's doing This is something that is being done for us, by us. And it's in place for you to get on the bus with us. That's and so right. uh, we need you. We want you to come and join us in this effort. Uh, Keep a line, Village is open their doors for that coming together, as we'll call it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to serve a little breakfast, morning right. snack for those who come. Hot lunch. Hot lunch at lunchtime because we're going to go out once, come back and have lunch and go back out again because it's our duty yeah. to patronize the businesses that represent us. And now I'll make it clear, we always screen the people that we're working with. These are black businesses. Now That's right. I want us to get a clear understanding. There are some that are not black, yeah. but these are black, mm -hmm. black-owned and operated businesses who have agreed to give us what? They're going to give us discounts. Discounts. Give us quality products at discount prices. And why is it important? Because we what? operate from a center of power when we support us. So other groups don't even have to have a bus to it because they already, they're trained to mm -hmm. buy from themselves to support them. Our dollar doesn't even go around once in our community. No, it does other not. Other communities, the dollar goes around 18 times, 15 times, 12 times. 
because they are trained from childhood to shop and support yourself, patronize yourself. We need to, and we used to have that going on. Most certainly. We used to have that though, back when we had Paradise Valley District, mm -hmm. uh, Black Bottom, when, when we had a sense of unity in our community. So we need to get back, and everybody needs to be on this phone. What, what number can they call, Paul? Well, they can call us, uh, our, our Minister of Information, Elder Balagoon, it's 350-8443. If they can't get him, they can call me, 313-477-1146. We want and need persons to get on the bus with us as we, again, recirculate our dollars in our community with our own people. That's and we've got Saturday. to do that. That's this, this Saturday. Saturday, this Saturday. So you need to call in immediately to reserve your seat. And again, get on the bus with us. You know, I'm gonna get on the bus and uh, come by my mother's house. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's. I wanted to make that more point that yeah. it's a Mother's mm -hmm. Day activity. Yeah. We are uh, scheduled this just mm -hmm. in keeping with Mother's Day. And in fact, if you need to go out and purchase some items for yourself or for your mothers, that's right. We got some or places that we're starting for your godmother. Your church, oh, there you know it is. Yeah. We got some business places that we're gonna go by that are gonna give you the products that you need at a discount price. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the reasons that uh, we are doing this, Bless Little, is to remind ourselves we are empowered. We're not pitiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not victims. Yes. The Lord has given mm -hmm. us this, a city by the, by the water, well, and we ought to be like a tree planted <laughs> by the water and not be moved. Well, I never understood what other black people didn't get because when I read that Major League Baseball was not supporting the inner city, I stopped watching baseball, and I love baseball. Mm -hmm. I played softball for 10 years, oh, come on you now. know, and come I love baseball. I mm -hmm. loved it, you know, watching Willie Horton hey. and, and, and Willie Mays hey. and, and, and uh, hey, the, the Gators, you know. So, I, you know, all the – yeah, we just had a bunch of folks out there that was playing baseball, Ozzie News, Joe Morton. Roberto yeah, I mean, Clemente. Oh, man, my, my, my. that's right. So so hey. I, I used to love watching baseball. Dave Park. Hey. I can just keep naming them, you oh, know, because yeah. oh, yeah. baseball was in my blood, yeah. you know. Yes. But I stopped supporting baseball mm -hmm. because they support, stopped supporting us. Yeah. When we get that in mind, when people stop supporting us, we stop supporting them. Hey. It ain't got to be no fanfare. No. Just let it, you know, that's what you want to do, mm -hmm. then we ain't got to support you. Hey. But we just have people that just keep on supporting their own demise. And I see this. It's a deeper problem that, in our city. Well, I can internalize your question. Yeah. It, you know, when I hear people uh, that are uh, rooted in self-hatred mm -hmm. and they think somebody else's ice is colder, mm -hmm. somebody else's sugar is sweeter, uh, it, it means they need to be taught a lesson of love. And that's mm -hmm. a godly thing. Mm -hmm. We are made in the image of the Most High God, mm -hmm. and we ought to love our. If we really love God, we ought to love ourselves. Yeah. Because who are the world's first people? That's right. Uh, this is not coming from Joanne Watson, mm -hmm. a National Geographic, which That's is right. not a real That's black right. and green That's organization. Right. That's right. Because the first humanity That's had right. to come from That's Africa. That's the fatherland. Mm -hmm. Had to come from oh, Africa. Yeah. This come is from this else. is the motherland. Oh, yeah. Hey, fatherland. Coleman Young Jr. was right. This is the motherland. This is our land. This is birth us. The greatest human beings on the planet. We the best of our fathers. My, my, my. Mm -hmm. Look at look here, Joy and Watson, mm -hmm. Paul Taylor, two great less Americans. Little. <laughs> two less, great Americans. Less little is a part of that group for sure. <laughs> great and Americans. We're honored that he's here with us. We have so many great Americans. How can you turn your back on your motherland? My, my, my. This is us. We have made this country. And we standing up for our vote. That's right. We standing up for our right to have economic empowerment. That's right. You know, Dr. Paul Anderson has, has written so many books. Uh, who's from Detroit, Detroit Bruce, mm -hmm. Wayne State University, Detroit, helping us understand that if we really want to conquer oppression and, and systemic impact of uh, racism, we need to have an economic empowerment plan to buy from ourselves, support it, and begin to make some products and then buy those products. Paul mm -hmm. Taylor talks about that all mm -hmm. the time. Well, we certainly do because, again, you said it. We got to learn to recirculate our dollars and support each other. And, and, and ironically, as we know, back in the times when we had what they call discrimination, hey. they still have it today, we had to own and operate our own businesses. That's right. And we did so abundantly. That's right. Uh, we had them here, there, and everywhere. But then when this whole notion of integration came to be a reality, people thought it was, what, something special to go into white-owned, operated businesses and spend our money. We forgot about the need to have our own businesses and spend our money with our own. And so that's why we're coming back again to say, get on the bus with us. Let's buy black. It's a bus tour. We're going to take you to the various locations. There'll be special discounts allowed for you at those locations. 
for spending our money with us in our own community. How, how to get on the bus, call this number. Well, it's what you do to do. We uh, want you to call the number. Uh, it's 313-350-8443. Or you can call me. I'll give you my number, 313-477-1146. We still have seats available if you're interested, if you want to sponsor somebody, by the way. If you're saying, well, I can't go myself, but I'm willing to sponsor someone, it is a nominal fee that I know we can make and can and will appreciate if you want to make that donation so we can get someone else to get on the bus with us. We're practicing what we preach. Because there's one thing to talk about by black, but it's quite another to have a bus to have businesses lined up. Exactly. To have, a, have a breakfast and lunch lined up. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, vendors and businesses waiting with their arms open, mm -hmm. waiting for us to arrive. And you know what? I'm glad you mentioned the word vending because not a, are we only going to the businesses. We're going to have some vendors at the beginning of our event at the Kibalon Village that will be right there on the facility. So you can do some shopping right there in the Kibalon Village sure when the can. vendors will be there. You can get oil, you can get jewelry, you can get a little something to eat. A little something to snack <laughs> on, all kind of good stuff will be available <laughs> right there at the Kibalon Village. My, my, my. So you can come by the village, recirculate our vows with each other, spend some money at those and booths the that there. celebrating its 40th year. 40 years. Come on, 40 somebody. years. Come on now. So proud of Marvis Cofield. Yeah. Ooh, and the Kibalon. Mm -hmm. 40 years. Started off with us over at the inner city sub so sure 40 did. years later, doing some good in the black neighborhood, and we I love him for it. I love to hear that story as he talks about it. I think he said he was 14 when uh, 14 uh, years when he old. Met, uh, Paul Taylor. Ooh, we. And uh, got his, got his uh, roots in his culture, in his African centeredness, and began to uh, understand that he has a, a history that goes way past enslavement. You know that old saying, each one reach one. That's it. Each one teach one. Hey, I think it. we got one. We hey. got Brother Morris Cofield. And we're honored that he is, again, reduplicating and even more so than what we were doing at the Akiba Line Village. So I will again ask you to meet us there uh, this Saturday. We got time. It's not too late. And I hope you'll tell others because, again, we need to spend our money in our community with our own people. And Brother Les, you know that, right? Oh, yeah. Well, like and I said, I always say support the, the black businesses in your neighborhood. That's right. That's what makes your neighborhood strong. We used it's to have businesses in there. Businesses That's in the black right. Neighborhood. Exactly. We used to have mm -hmm. plenty of them, mm -hmm. and, we, and you know sometimes we blame ourselves for mm -hmm. something somebody else did. Mm -hmm. uh, we we need to remember that some bulldozers came through and, and uh, really tore down mm -hmm. black industry mm -hmm. that was present in the city of Detroit mm -hmm. uh, for a freeway. Mm -hmm. It was a design, it was a purposeful, and it was planned Guess to it was. disrupt black economy. Mm -hmm. Certainly did, yeah. And it's still planning. Well, like I was, I talked to the owner of the mobile station. It was he owned one on. Finkel and Wyoming, yeah. uh, Finkel and Sh uh, Schaefer, and Finkel and Greenfield. Yeah. I mm -hmm. talked to him one day. He said he was being squeezed out of the business. So I it's a lot of been squeezing out of black business. You see, they took all the businesses out from downtown. Hey. They squeezing black businesses out. Yeah. That's why it's important to have good leadership. That's why the vote is our voice, and we That's need right. to exercise our voice to get leadership in there that will support Coleman, like, and, like and Coleman we Young. Don't, and we should, not, senior. we should not vote for people because somebody's mm -hmm. heard a voice in their own head telling yeah. them, I'm helping you Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> the community should yeah, that's, lift up that's, people mm -hmm, who indeed mm -hmm, made the work that I've done speak right. for me. Like they so, did for you. Well, I, I was very blessed. <laughs> yeah. I was very blessed because I don't know anybody who's had the, uh, the low-down racist dog, mm -hmm. uh, evil white supremacist media mm -hmm. uh, uh, hoisted against them as much as I have. Mm -hmm. I, but I won every time I ran. Every time. Mm -hmm. That's that God. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me, it was God. Mm -hmm. I know it was God. Yeah. Yeah. I know it was God. There's no other way I could have uh, beaten uh, Gil Hill, who had 100% name mm -hmm. recognition. I had no money. Well, I wasn't worried about it. Well, I, knew, <laughs> I knew you. And Tate and he had a, and he <laughs> Tate almost beat Kwame Kilpatrick for the mayor's office. Yeah. He had been president of the city council. Yeah, but, but, I, the, 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 but the word on the street that they we need to join Watts. Well, that I, was the word I was on the street. Blessed, oh. I was blessed by God. I give God all the praise for that. Because it was certain. A crazy, uh, evil person had the nerve to call my office. Mm -hmm. After I went, how did you get in there? How did, how did you get in there? <laughs> Use some profanity. How, yeah, did, how did you get in there? How did you get you were the, the, the main one. We didn't want to get in. Right. You, you remember you told after you won? It was God's business, right? <laughs> you, you, it was you God's business. After you won, they had to come to this station. 
That's right. They had to come to this station. This the new, they had to come to this station. That's I right. remember Kwame Kilpatrick coming into this station That's true. to congratulate yeah, you. Yeah, he had been at the Gill Hill Victory Party. Uh-huh. It wasn't a victory party, so he had to come <laughs> here. Comes down here. For the real one of well, the well, real one. But God is good, and we can mm-hmm. God all the praise. But when we put our hand in God's mm-hmm. hand, we can do all things. Mm-hmm. We are not pitiful. We're not poor. We're not victims. And we who ought to know because this city has, has been the foundation for the nation of Islam. You're right. And the shrine of the black Madonna mm-hmm. and the Republic of New Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the longest tenure of a mayor that they call him Alexander Young, who was the blackest black mayor we've ever had and who is celebrating his 100th birthday this year. Yeah. And the greatest mayor of Detroit. Uh-huh. A greatest mayor in this country. Yes, oh, right. no doubt about uh-huh. that. Uh-huh. In uh-huh. fact, we're honoring the Honorable mm-hmm. Coleman and Young, okay. along with the uh, magnificent uh, Dr. Charles H. Wright, mm-hmm. who are both celebrating their centennials this year. They're mm-hmm. Each of those birthdays are 100 this year. They're also honoring Ralph Bunch. Mm-hmm. Who's also 100 this year, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ralph Bunch is uh, more than 100. Is he? Yeah. I thought that we saw, saw we got to research no, no, that no. again. He's yeah, older I, I now. Need to no. research. Okay. Two of them are 100. Uh-huh. Okay. That's the Honorable Coleman A. Young and Dr. Charles H. Wright. Okay. Ralph, we honored Ralph Bunch because Kojo suggested it last uh-huh. summer, and uh-huh. we're, we're honoring that. But we, uh, they're, they're all worthy. And we're also honoring, of course, uh, Queen Mother Winnie Mandela. Oh, who, who, who made right. her transition this year. Right. Praise right. God. And all the work that she did yeah. over the course of the years. Well, so. I was wondering if we can use some of her ideas that she used to persuade people to get on her side. Well, you know, <laughs> well Harriet Tubman used that same kind of work, persuasion. Mm-hmm. She had a, an enforcer that uh, helped, helped keep people yeah, in Yeah, make mind up their mind. Yeah, because yeah. some the underground railroad. Yeah. Because uh, some of us are sick. Oh, yes. Right. And we don't know we're sick. <laughs> and don't know we're sick. Uh. <laughs> I want uh, Paul Taylor uh-huh. to uh, give the uh, details again for this Black Bus Tour, and then I want to ask Les, Les Little to follow up and talk about the uh, importance of what happened on May 3rd uh, on that, that fateful day that we went to Cincinnati. Well, I just want to say again that uh, we, a group of us, have come together and represent various organizations. This is our third get on the bus with us trip, bus tour, should I call it. And we're asking those who have not gone with us before to come on and go with us this time. That's right. And so we're going to stop at six locations on this trip. And um, one is called Haskell Lower, over on Gratiot Avenue on the east side of Detroit. Brother been in business for a number of years. The discounts will be available to us. And we're working with Cannon Superstore, which is also over on the east side. Brother's got different clothing items for men and women. In that store, we want you to come again to get on the bus with us. The Black Dress Company. My, my, my. The Black Dress Company. Well, for ladies, well. if you're looking for your Mother's Day dress, mm-hmm. going to have to wear the church that Sunday That's morning. Right. That's right. Come and join us at the Black Dress Company. Sister's got plenty of good product line over there, and she's giving discounts. She sure is. And she's asking sister. us to come hey, and join Missy. us. Sister Missy. Yeah, she's some of us, the brothers of us, we know how Sam. Oh, don't we know yeah. Brother Tony oh Stovall? Oh Brother Tony Stovall, he's opening his doors again. That's right. And he's giving us a major discount. If you mm-hmm. come in there to buy something today mm-hmm. on Monday, or well, I'm going to get straight in on, <laughs> on Saturday, he's going to take care of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brother Hot Sam. My, my, my. DJ Nay, arts and gallery. Bees That's and art. Ladies who need jewelry, yeah. items to wear, and beads and so on and so forth. Yeah. T-shirts, hats. Books. He's got all kinds of things, and that's right downtown, in the heart of downtown. That's right. And then again, last but by no means least, is Bert's Marketplace. Come on now. We know where Bert is. Everybody oh, yeah. know Brother Bert, right? Yeah. And Brother Bert has a boutique shop that's also right there in the marketplace. Sure mm-hmm. And so we want to support him and them all at the same time. So again, we call on all the brothers and the sisters to join us to get on the bus with us. There's a few seats still available. And then we have a good time on the bus as well. You know, just back in the day, how you ride the bus and talk to each <laughs> other right. and walk and kind of see what each other's doing. Somebody might strike up a tune. We might sing a song on the bus. <laughs> and so we're saying to everyone, come on, join us on the bus. Mm-hmm. We need you and want your support. And what you and you're not doing it for us. Mm-hmm. You're doing it for yourself. Yeah, that's the key point, mm-hmm. doing, doing it, it for, for yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. So that your children will have a place to work. Exactly. So that our communities will have uh, dollars circulating round and round and round. So that, you know, you, you got to imagine that uh, some people must think we're nuts because we give them all of our money. Yes, they must. 
and make you know, those demands. You know, some of us, we think, our, what should I say, our goal in life is to go spend our money with other people yeah, in yeah. other communities. We want to go out in 99 Mile Road. Hey. We want to, the further out we go, we think the better it makes it for us. That we can. They I can't stop us from spending our money out here. Yeah, we'll go right. out there and spend our money with people that don't look like us, not understanding that the more we circulate our dollars in our own community with our own people, the more beneficial it will be for everybody. And so prestige is not the ability to go out and spend your money with people that don't look like you. Prestige is to spend your money with your people in your own community. Well, that's and so that's why we're me. saying. I love myself. Oh, you when think I, we I, don't? When I buy from me, I love myself. Yes, you do. Come on now. And Sister Joanne, you know, if you have been doing it forever and a day, making sure that you spent your money in these various black-owned businesses. I went to the black dress company. Lady said, so if Joanne been up here, she always come in here. <laughs> She's one of our regular customers up here. And so, again, if you are indeed hearing our voice today, join us on the Black Bus Tour. And seat's still available. And we'd love to have you. need you to come on and be with us. And let's little... May the 3rd, which is today. That's right. This is a special day. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, because I call this today the shot not heard around the world. Say that. Because I don't think they understood how important it is for us to show up at the, in Cincinnati at the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeal, because that case was the most important case in America. We and it still is. We raised money for that case yeah. right here on this station. That's right. This now, is, me and Helen Moore were, were uh, hosting the show when we were telling people to wake up to uh -huh. call in and support our lawsuit uh -huh. so that we can get our vote back for our school system. Well, that's how I found you. See, I was flat on my back going on my second year because of my back. Yeah. Awful, awful job working for the state of Michigan, listening to WHPR. Come on now. Heard some American citizens like Helen Moore and hey, Charles Noble getting thawed out of a school board meeting, uh, an illegal school board meeting, because I knew this was a illegal takeover. Yes, it was. And to have them not be able to exercise their constitutional rights of protest and mm -hmm. getting thrown That's out, right. they mm -hmm. said all the men show up at Kettering High School. That's right. But they didn't know how painful it was for me to get there. But I, I got there. Bless your heart. I got there. It took bless me three hours to get even dressed. To get bless over your, to the station. Mm -hmm. And then I had to stay up on top of it because you get to go down there. So I said, if they start fighting, I'm going to have to go down there. Mama. I was hoping they would because I was ready to <laughs> watch some behind because I knew that how important this was. They have Freeman Hendricks sitting up there like he was the God of all have of us. Now. And when I heard that, I had to be there. And then I started coming to the to the meetings. took a commercial of him throwing both sides. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that what that got, that got that him. That helped, uh, that's right. And that should have, that should, we should use that kind of thing against him. You know, and that's yeah, why this great station was so important because this was my mainstream media. When everybody talk about mainstream, I be saying WHP, y'all talking hey, about WHPR? Y'all talking about the, you, the you at the, at that, the right. Michigan Citizen? That's right. Uh, or you talking about Renaissance Observer or Jet, Ebony Magazine? That's That was my mainstream media. Yeah. I always have been since I was a young man to find out about who we are. That's right. Why can I read about other people? I read about them in history books. Exactly. I've seen exactly. that, but I want to read about us. You better mm -hmm. say it. So uh, I never understood why we didn't understand that and why we didn't understand how important that was when we was shutting down those school board meetings. And I was looking at these guys that had PhD because you had to have a PhD to be a principal. Uh, the principal was telling us to shut up, sit down, y'all don't know what you're No, I was saying, why come y'all ain't coming over here but shutting this down? Guess what? Those same administrators who, who were acting like they were embarrassed by mm -hmm. folks protesting uh, unconstitutional activity, yeah. they ended up, many of them losing their positions. They lost their right to unionize yeah. under emergency manager. See, emergency manager means you have no rights. You have no vote. Mm -hmm. You have no authority. You have no home rule. Mm -hmm. So the uh, uh, city of Detroit, uh, Flint, uh, Highland Park, mm -hmm. Benton Harbor, Muskegon, uh, you name it, every Inkster, everywhere. In fact, Inkster has the whole school district taken away. And how, so the same as happened with Highland Park, has one school left. Mm -hmm. You're right. We are uh, in, a, in a sea of unconstitutional activity, and because the racist white media mm -hmm. Won't call it so. Mm -hmm. We think everything's okay. It's not okay. Well, I don't hear the Everything black media saying too much either. I don't hear the black media should be pounding this to to no end where we are. Well, but the they Michigan, don't. Michigan citizen was not able to maintain enough well, yeah, advertisement. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Because uh, mm -hmm. for the same issue, mm -hmm. 
yeah. the same issue. You know, the uh, folks, if, if I had my way, uh, folks would not be t- spending a dollar at the casino mm-hmm. because the casinos, uh, which, are, which are kept alive by black folks mm-hmm. who are going down there gambling mm-hmm. like it's some kind of new religion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they refused to buy uh, commercial space in the Michigan Citizen would still be open. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, you know, Coleman Young wanted Detroit to own two casinos. And the, I, a lot of ministers said no, no, no. But the same ministers that said no, 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 when Dennis Archer got in office, was saying yes, yes, yes. Well, See, I thought Archer that was kind of. Archer could have given Mayor Young. Oh, well, he could have. But it was, right. it was not approved. No. Mm-hmm. But he, he, he said he knew he wasn't going to approve, but he wanted it to be on the table so at least he could say he tried. That's right. Because he wanted, he didn't even do it for himself. Right. I love Mayor Young. He's amazing. He was a real man's man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no he question said he about wanted, it. he wanted one casino that the brothers on the street could point to it and say, I got a piece of that. That's that. right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And when you have a mayor that says he don't want a rich black man to get richer, Not when he's talking about Don Barton, and then we have a casino and, and an amusement park, Michael Jackson, just imagine what the income would have been stream. You have you got jobs for the children and you got for the parents. And these casinos, they don't even count their money in Detroit. And mm-hmm. the image that it would have yeah. gained. Of course. The image. That's of, right. Uh, black got, ownership. That's right. It would have went all around uh, the world. No, no. See, that's what they didn't But it's they not too late. We have oh, to no. get on the bus no, on no. ladder. That's right. Well, that's mm-hmm. what their opportunity begins, presents to us. Mm-hmm. There are some businesses that we have in this city. This is just a few. We've done mm-hmm. other locations on yeah, other yeah. trips. But I'm saying to us that we have a duty to perform, mm-hmm. to support each other, spend our lives with each other. Yeah. And that's why we have adopted this black bus tour as one of our programs that we're implementing and we named the organizations that are involved in this. Yes. And so you know, I ran into a brother last night, so he didn't know nothing about it, but he now he heard about it, he'll be there. Excellent. And so that's why I'm hoping that those of us who did not know anything about it, you've heard about it now. It's not too late no. to join us in this effort. Show up this, on Saturday. Show up on Saturday to keep line village. Seven seven oh right. O one Harper. Old Right meet, yes, man. We're meeting there at eight nine. Well, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock in the morning is when we're meeting. We're leaving at ten o'clock. Support the vendors that are there mm-hmm. at Al Keeper Mall, and then get on the bus, have a little bite to eat. Mm-hmm. Get on the bus. We're going to travel to black businesses, uh, invest in those businesses, uh, the way you travel to uh, suburban malls and invest in places yeah. where they follow you around and act like you stole something. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a couple things our uh, businesses that uh, we want to just mention. Uh, Reverend Bullock got his yeah. store over on the west side yeah. that's already in place. That's and right. People are patronizing, which yeah. is so good to hear. Yeah. 16400 uh, West Seminar. Right. And then there's another young brother here on the east side yeah. who is in, in I say, in working stage of getting another black-owned supermarket. Not, yeah. Right, right yeah. there on Gratiot and Van Dyke. Oh, right. Great. Major, major mm-hmm. facility, and he's working hard on it. talked to him again yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, brother's working hard. He's working toward it. I sent him an investor last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. That's, that's a great is. thing. And yeah. we, he's looking for investors. Mm-hmm. We got to own and operate the business in our community. This is not new information. That's right. I mean, we've been doing this for how long? Mm-hmm. Too long. We just got to get back to doing what we know we must do, spend our dollars in our community with our own people. It's time. Yes, it is. It's oh, time. It's long overdue. And May 3rd, we honor today. Think about that all day today. Right. And that's why Les Little is here to mm-hmm. help us. Acknowledge, and I want to thank you, Les, for mm-hmm. never forgetting mm-hmm. the sacrifice of the people in this community. Of course, mm-hmm. it wasn't everybody, but we mm-hmm. had a critical mass. Mm-hmm. All you need is a critical mm-hmm. mass right. who That's understands right. mm-hmm. and who doing the right thing. And that critical mass of us, we rose mm-hmm. to Cincinnati. Well, this is, I call it, this is our Edmund Pettus Bridge because the educational system was destroyed. We had one of the best educational systems in the country. And they knew it. That's why they destroyed it. That's right. without, without question. Because yeah. You know, we had a budget that was still mm-hmm. what in the Not black, wasn't in the red, wasn't million, in the red. More than hundred million That's dollars right, exactly. to the good. That's to right. the good. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they gave us some false notion that we were misusing the money and the money wasn't being spent. Was low just low just low, low down tail telling. Yes, it was. It was a conspiracy yes, it was. to get their hands right. on exactly. the dollars That's connected right. with yeah. the school district. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They looked around to see where, where, you know, that, that's what scripture said. Mm-hmm. That the devil is going to and fro, seeing who they can devour. Man, they really so they went to and fro, trying to see what what big budget was left for them to devour, mm-hmm. and it was the school system budget. And yeah, they wanted that bond money hey, for that for that work that one point five billion bond money yeah. what they was after. Yeah. 
They and wanted, they got it. They, and they took it. They got it. Spend it. They put the I know money. They made a, a whole lot. Oh, of please, made a fortune. Suburbs rich. Yes, they did. And they built some of their schools with our money. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. With our money. Yeah, it was really about the money. The takeover right. was about the money. No doubt do about that. Had nothing to do with that. Clean, safe no. schools. It was Mm-mm. about the money. This was uh, always this about the right money. Right here in Detroit, I call this. This was the the modern day Black Wall Street. Take mm-hmm. you know, instead of bombs and guns and takeover, they used a pen. And they always say the pen is mighty than the sword. Oh yes, when they wrote that legislation to take over and to come in, and it was a black man mean, that did it. We should not forget that Virgil Smith, Senior is the one who orchestrated this takeover. No, this, this, it was orchestrated. There, there were a lot of black who, well, that supported it, yeah. but the, the people who were the roots of it right. uh, do not look like us. Mm-hmm. Of course they do. Oh, yeah. Nope, I well, have, you can I always have, get people that look like us. No, I, I know the guy yeah. who, wrote, oh, yeah. who wrote the law. Mm-hmm. He wrote right. it at the, mm-hmm. during one of those uh, Mackinac mm-hmm. conferences yeah. where it was presented. And he is from a major law firm that mm-hmm. still gets money from the city. Mm-hmm. So, no, the, the, the plan mm-hmm. to steal our vote, to steal the school system, to steal the city, and the water department at Belle Isle, mm-hmm. all of that was concocted mm-hmm. in the same mind of those who uh, planned this illegal bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. So we, we need to keep our eye on who, who the real enemy is. Oh, yeah. Well, eh, eh. Well, yeah, and that's what we forget. Yeah, well, that's but that's, that's, that's well, you know, I, maybe I read it wrong. Oh, there's yeah, yeah, no, there's some, there's some blackies now. Yeah, that's well, important. he was but, the black. Well, there's some, there's some but, uh, allies and conspirators yeah. who look okay. like us. Right. But the roots of it. Oh, we need to oh go yeah. All, all okay. the way back, and maybe mm-hmm. we need to do a show just on that. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. On because it's important. Going just, all the way back to mm-hmm. where where the seeds of the school takeover, the city takeover. And it's still going on because it's still under state control, which means you don't have your vote back. That's right. You still don't have constitutional protection. Mm-hmm. You still don't have home rule. That's right. And that's important. Home rule is the main objective for us, to get home rule. Come on now. That's our main objective. And that's what our, our meeting is going to be about tonight, is about taking, making sure that our, my grandson has home rule when he becomes my age. Come on, you know, because we can't, we just can't sit back and say, "Oh no, we just gonna let it slide." We got to do something. You have to fight. We got, we got to fight this. And we have to we fight got to fight for home rule. We, because we, we fought for African centered education. That's right. Yes, we you did. Know, when we first opened up Malcolm X Academy, a, a group of folks sued mm-hmm. because it was supposed to be for black boys initially. The great Dr. Clifford Watson, God rest his soul. Mm-hmm. Bless his soul. He, uh, he had a plan. He said, "If we get them rooted in math and science." and we tap their genius, uh, then nobody will be able to uh, drag them into prison or into chemical That's use right. or negative mm-hmm. behavior because mm-hmm. they, they will have their genius track mm-hmm. set when they're young. Mm-hmm. He, he just, he, he, and he had the right idea. And this, uh, uh, as soon as he came out with, with the Malcolm X Academy and the plan to have uh, plans to help young black men who right now are being paroled mm-hmm. into prison right. and the school dropouts and drug activity, he said, uh, let, let, let's give them another pass. Uh, mm-hmm. Became absolutely targeted for lawsuits mm-hmm. and negativity and hostility. We had to protect the children. When we moved into mm-hmm. uh, uh, the Malcolm X Academy, we, uh, some of the black men in the community, like the two of you, mm-hmm. had yep. to protect the children. Truly mm-hmm. did. You know, Mid Man Alumni Organization, which we created, we went on patrol. We'd actually go to those schools and patrol in and around them That's right. and let our presence be known that That's right. we're not having that here. Mm-hmm. You're not going to do that here. We're not going to jeopardize the life of these children. That's right. And so uh, that yeah. was, oh, yeah, we, we did that. That's we literally right. did that. Literally. That's right, in the Warrendale community. Most certainly. In Warrendale community, yeah. we certainly did that. I called mm-hmm. Mayor Young and said, you know, Mayor Young, there's some of these racists are threatening our children. I've been reading about that. I've been waiting for y'all to call me. Mm. <laughs> Y'all that's come on over here to the boathouse. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah. He's waiting on us. He's waiting, waiting on y'all to call. Yeah. I'm the mayor. I've been mm-hmm. waiting on y'all that's to call. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There's no greater champion than Coleman. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, yeah. this, the love for this city. That's no why question. I stayed here. Because of home rule and Coleman Alexander Young Sr. I could, what could I move anywhere else in, hey, the, in America hey. where, when I had the best here? The best. Come that's on, right. Oh, yeah. In this 
139 square miles. You better Man, say. I used to love driving around in my 1972 hey. Gremlin, and I put in on 200,000 miles on that bad boy. Okay, right here yeah. in this right city. Here in the city yeah. It's a great city. Yeah, I, 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 like I say the same. Oh, yeah. I say the same. Because, see, if the suburban community was waiting on me to come to, to, to spend our money, there, they'd all be bankrupt. <laughs> and everybody who knows me know I stay inside the city hey. limits. That's right. If I can't get it here, I don't need it. Hey. <laughs> exactly. One of the greatest cities in America. How can we that's, not? And people? that's why Detroit has been targeted. That's right. There's, there's mm -hmm. no coincidence. There's mm -hmm. no accident. No. And that's why we celebrate mm -hmm. who we are. We're not anti anybody. No. We just no. have the right to love no, ourselves. No. Because we are everybody. We can, like I said, I, I, I try to tell folks, we have passed for white folks, okay? We are white. You, people think we're white, but we're black. It's right here in your heart for the people if you're black or not. And that's where it comes. Black is a frame well, of mind. the mine. truth is everybody's of African descent. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So this the original. we the original. This, like I said, I say the fatherland to the motherland. We have been contributing we to the, the world. We are the mothers and fathers. That's right. Of the planet. Of that's humanity. right. Exactly. Yeah. Certainly. It all started with us. That's right. That's right. And, and, they, and, and in Detroit? And they had to rule and find out that it started with us. And I know it was to their regret. Uh, well, <laughs> they finally, that's we why was, they keep having <laughs> archaeological <laughs> yeah, they, I know. They, they, they keep trying to find a bone older <laughs> than, the, than yeah. the black bone they've right. already found. Exactly. That's, that's why they keep doing that, the That's deal. right. Still mm -hmm. trying to find it. That's right. They ain't going to find it. They ain't going to find it. They ain't going to find it. We're the greatest. Our God is an awesome God. Oh, yes. Yes, And he made us in his image and his likeness. And when we get to the understanding that we are one, Mm -hmm. One people. That's right. With one God. Yeah. Uh, that operate with a sense of love and compassion for ourselves and each other. Then we're on a higher plane. Mm -hmm. We need to do that. And one way to show our self love is to get on the bus to yeah. Africa. And call that number, Paul. We're going to give the number one more time. Well, I got to give it one more time because we're making an appeal to those of us who are in viewing of this show today. And we love Sister Joanne Watts. Do we love her? Oh, yeah. Oh, without yeah. a question yeah. of a doubt. She's with us, and we're with her, mm -hmm. and it's in that spirit that we're here today to mm -hmm. say to those of us who are in the viewing audience that this Saturday, this Saturday, it's two days hence, we have a campaign mm -hmm. of spending our money in our community with our own people. Mm -hmm. That seems so very basic, so, mm -hmm. so, so, so small to yeah. be able to do, and we can all do that. And so we are sponsoring our bus trip. Mm -hmm. This is the third one that we've had. But we go around in the community and make a commitment to help and support black people who own their own business. Because not only do we want you to get on the bus with us this one time, we want you to now that you find and know that these places exist, we want you to keep spending your money that's right. with those places in and around the city. And that's the significance of our black bus tour, to let it be shown and known that there's plenty of places that you can go that's right. if you need and want to buy some quality products for yourself and your family. And we've been to many places. We've been mm -hmm. to uh, Painting with a Twist, Black-owned downtown. Uh, we've been to... Uh, uh, all the places on the Avenue of Fashion. Avenue, we had the Avenue, the of Fashion. Avenue of Fashion. And we went and, and, and supported those places. Uh, That's right. Different places where you can eat. We've done those places. That's we've right. still got more places to do. Mm -hmm. And so we're saying to you, if you understand, and I know you do, how important it is to spend your money with your own, join us this Saturday. 313-350-8443. You can reach us on that number, or you can call us at 313-477-1146 and reserve your place on the bus. That's right. And I say again, lastly, if it's such as it is that you're not able to do it this time, you want to make a donation so we can take someone else, we'd appreciate that as well. So give us a call, and we're going to, again, ask you to get on the bus with us That's right. as we spend our money in our own community with our own people. Great Paul Taylor, legendary Paul Taylor yeah. in the city of South I'm just trying to do a little good million, in the black neighborhoods. Million man trying to bring some unity to the black community. Food co -op every month. Uh, yes, every month. The food co op African is still there. Day. It'll be African Liberation Day, by the way, coming up May tw this month, May 25th. And we want you in that number. Dr. Ray Winbush is our keynote mm -hmm. uh, Friday at the Charles A. Dr. Charles A. Dwight Museum of African American History, uh, 6 o'clock on Friday night. And um, a Saturday, there'll be that march around the, the area, the, the Charles A. Dry Museum. Of yes, yes, yes. And a special workshop and the community coming together, practicing unity. Yeah. African Liberation Day weekend coming up. Coming up. Coming up.
May 25th, 26th. Right there at our museum. Come on, Charles right. H. Wright, We're our very, museum. We're very grateful to Charles Ezra Farrell for helping to facilitate uh, the work that we're doing with the, our partnership with the Charles H. Wright Museum. And certainly uh, we, we're honored by the support of President and CEO Juanita Moore and everybody who's connected with Charles. And especially we honor, we're honoring Charles H. Wright, mm -hmm. the, founder the founder of the Charles H. Wright Museum exactly. of African American History. Also mm -hmm. honoring the great, legendary, the honorable Coleman Alexander Young. Most certainly. Uh, the most significant black mayor ever in the history of this country who will be honored as we celebrate his 100th birthday this year, along with Dr. Wright. Pray that we'll be honoring mm -hmm. Ralph Bunch as well. And it's free admission. Yeah. It's free admission. No charge at all. Just come on down. Bunch was born in Detroit, first black Nobel Prize winner. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes, sir. Yeah. First. That's great. You see, that's also how I'm great we are. Born in Detroit. Right. Born great. in Detroit. Great. Les Little, Lord. we want to thank you for always lifting up May the 3rd, lifting up. But, and, of course, you, you can look at Les Little and tell, you know, he's our enforcer. He's our security. <laughs> One thing, you know, he's not little. <laughs> he's a big fella and always has been. Not just physically he's a big fella, but he's a big fella in his head and his mind. Mm -hmm. he's, he's wonderful, and he's never forgotten mm -hmm. the investment that was poured into uh, maintaining our right to vote, mm -hmm. getting our right to vote, and traveling to Cincinnati to well, uh, invest in mm -hmm. that with the federal court. Well, see, my shirt, it says, the vote is our voice. That's right. Our voice has been stifled. That's right. Our, well, our First Amendment right has been stifled. That's right. And, and, and I don't understand why a lot of other Americans don't get that. This is an important right to vote. This is how this democracy works. You, Malcolm said the ballot of the bullet. We don't want the bullet. Exactly. It's a lot of other countries that are using the bullet to, to uh, exercise their freedom of speech. Praise we God. choose to vote. We want to because we've always been peaceful people. My, my, my. But we've been known to raise a little hell well, at the time, well, too. Okay. Well, you know, the great Robert Williams, who was the first uh, president uh, uh, assigned as the leader of the provisional government of the Republic of New Africa, mm -hmm. he wrote a book called The Negroes with Guns. Mm hmm because he, he stood on our right to self-defense, mm -hmm. which is why he, he he and his brothers and sisters in the Carolinas, when the Klan decided they were going to ass assassinate people, they were waiting for them with some guns. Mm -hmm. And guess what? They turned the Klan around. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. why he wrote Negroes with oh, guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my father used to tell me it was some black men that white people did not mess oh, with. Oh, hello. Okay? Uh, they and the sheriff say, hey, don't mess with him. Hey. They mess with him anyway. Hey. I told you not to mess with him. Okay? <laughs> I told you not to mess with him. Why don't you go after him? Why don't you go on after him? say, no, I'm not. You and, know, he, and, and some black women. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. right. Oh, oh no. My, my great grandmother put her hand in her bosom uh -huh. in Mississippi uh -huh. and, and told the old, low down racist mm -hmm. redneck in Mississippi who had stolen her sharecropper. You take one more step toward me, you're going to step to hell this morning. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Made it plain. Right. Made that's it right. Plain. See, see, that's why I say we are some strong and resilient people, and we are not. We, this fight is not over. As long as we keep May third alive, this is independent day for me. Go ahead. This is independent. Go ahead. We Mr. must Lord. state this to our children that how important the vote is. And we and I keep hearing this. Well, vote our vote don't count. It does. That's if right. you participate in this system, it will count. That's right. It will count like no other. You know, we were honored to be on that bus. Yeah. Uh, it's mm -hmm. significant that you're here today. Mm -hmm. uh, we were honored to be on that bus. And this is my uh, bus pass. You right still got your bus pass. Still got, still got the wrist pass. Because right. right. I know uh -huh. how important this was. Mm -hmm. I was I was kind of hurt, I'm going to tell you. I, I was hurt because that Cincinnati was shut down. We didn't shut it down. We didn't. We should have let Cincinnati never forgotten May 3rd, 2002. They would say all those people came together to save our children from this takeover of our school system. But we made a mark, brother. Oh, oh yes, we certainly we did. did. We, we certainly did. did. Because those buses that we took were full. Oh, That's yeah. Right. And we right. went down there with the right mindset. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get it back our vote. And we got our vote back. And without yeah. doubt. Yeah. Sometimes we don't claim our victory. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. we don't stop mm -hmm. to just say, acknowledge, well, you mm -hmm. know, we won right. that. Mm -hmm. We won that. Mm -hmm. We're not all the way there, but we won that. Yeah. So praise God, Mr. Mm -hmm. Leslie. Yeah. Thank and you. thank you. Thank you for having me today. It's, really. a, it's an honor and a privilege. And Paul Taylor, legendary warrior. Legend in my own mind. <laughs> right. Playing the torchbearer uh -huh. who 
with uh, through who has mentored thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of young African men and women in this been, community. Been so and honored. Their children in my family. Been so, so honored. I see them here, and see them there, and they all remember me, but I can't remember them. Mm -hmm. And it's an honor uh, to just see them, and they tell me the impact that we had when they were coming up, and they've never forgotten that. They say that. Paul Taylor saved their life. Uh -huh. you know, some, some have said such mm -hmm. things as that, but yeah. I know it was no different than some of the rest of us yeah. who were involved in activities and programs and so on and so forth to save our babies. Come what we save is about? Save mm -hmm. the baby. It's got to be about saving the baby. Save the baby. Mm -hmm. Got to be about saving That's the baby. They represent our future. You always quote Malcolm. Got to say, say got to, it's got to. All about the baby. It's all about the babies. Mm -hmm. If it ain't oh, about right. the babies, what do you say? What the hell is it all about? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> so right. it's got to be about the babies because they represent our future. Mm -hmm. And so saving the babies has been our motto. That's and, right. And we certainly still doing that over at the Kibalon Village and other places around the city. Mm -hmm. And that whole notion of meeting us at the Kibalon Village on Saturday morning to get on the bus is in keeping with the whole notion of saving our babies because we don't own nothing, we don't control nothing. That's right. If you don't control nothing, you don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to be able to control and operate the businesses in our community and recirculate those dollars. Mm -hmm. And this is just a stepping stone in that direction. And I know many of us are already in tune to doing that mm -hmm. and been doing it over the course of many, many years. So come on, join us. Let's get together, man. The me thing, make it a we thing. Hey. And we can do it if we put our mind to it. I'm always running into people that say, what you doing now? I want to follow you. Where are you? I'm going to be on the bus on Saturday. Get on the bus. <laughs> Show up Ooh. at our people line, uh -huh. 7701. You know, right at Van Dyke. And, you know, it's such an honor. And I'm going to conclude my remarks by saying this. Uh, you know, we love this sister, Joanne Watson. Mm -hmm. There's just no question about it. She's the most special person you'll ever want to meet. She's not just talking it. She's walking it. She's with us. When we get involved in any of the activities that we have, we can count on. She, when she was on the city council, it was the same way. Oh, yeah. Now, here's a lady that's elected, had a position, had responsibilities to undertake and keep in place, but never forgot from when she came. She was still with us, came to the meetings, participated in the programs. You could find her any Kwanzaa time, mm -hmm. after liberation time, and any old time. Joanne Watson was there. She never has and never will forget from when she's coming. That's why I love her. We love her. She's a, such a special, special lady. Her children that she's reared is so special. It proves and shows us that somebody can be somebody. That's right. Thank and you. Sister Joanne is certainly somebody. Thank you so she called me and said, I got to be on this show. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> what else I going to do? And I love her for it and I thank her for it. Bless your heart. And, and we will always, will always cherish you. Thank you. And all of those persons that you've helped down through the years. I, I am because we are. Yes. I'm a product of this community. I was born in Detroit. Yes. I love Detroit. I love Detroit. I love my people. I love this community. And See, my grandmother remembered you when you came over to our church way back when. Carter met the father. Your, your grandmother was special. <laughs> You know she was special. 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 God we bless her soul. We're going to have a show just on some special grandmothers oh, yeah. down the road yeah. because there's something about those grandmothers. Oh, mm -hmm. I remember mine. Ada Jane Little. Oh, come on, somebody. She oh, called yeah. my phrase. Hey. Don't, don't look for me until you see me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> don't look for me until you see me. That's a good one. Yeah, we're going to do a That's show a good featuring one. our grandmothers yeah. and big mamas and tell us a story. Oh, yeah. My dear, we're going to talk about Oh yeah. Those whose bridges we crossed over. Well, you That's know, Mother's Day is right upon hey, us. Hey. So if you want to help me keep the memory of those mothers together, That's come right. on, spend your money with us. That's right. Buy some black-owned products. And you on black-owned broadcasting right now, thanks right. to R.J. Watkins, who's the Watkins and Watkins Broadcasting. We send a shout out to R.J., whom we love and respect, our leader. And we thank God for H.C. Henry Tyler, Vice President. We're so grateful that Sean Watkins doing engineering camera work and sound and making commercials happen. We're so grateful that you are a part of this black-owned broadcast, and we honor you and your support. If you want to send RJ a little love letter, you can send it to 160 Victor, 48203. He'll be so glad to hear from you. We give God all the praise. Only God is worthy to be praised. Wake up, Detroit.